Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson before here, bringing you guys more ranked games. And uh, the last time I brought one was like two weeks ago with the, with the Cleveland Browns, and um, it was a hell of a game. I ended up winning, uh, like like by three points or something. I forgot how much how much it was, but yeah, I won by little. Well, I'm here to bring you another one, guys. And right now, I'm letting you guys know this is the reason why I'm always frustrated when I play head, head to head games because this is bullshit. All right, right now I'm giving you, I'm giving you guys a spoiler. A bunch of bullshit happened yet again. And yes, I'm playing against the Dallas Cowboys again. And guess what happened? Bullshit. This reminds me a lot of my 2009 years. The the year 2009 of Madden, it was just... Cowboys was OP as fuck. And here comes again. Cowboys acting OP as fuck with Des Bryant who's 6'2". Okay, I had Dominic Roger Cremati who's 6'2". How come he can't fucking jump up there? It was just a bunch of shit that just went down in this game that really pisses the hell out of me. And I'm excuse me for the language. It's just that, you know, I got to bring it. I bring it. When I bring it, I fucking bring it, all right? And I know what I'm calling an offense. My offense was doing all right. My defense was making the, his offense struggle. It, everything was going all right. So for sure, a lot of you guys are asking yourselves, like, so what was the problem? It's just bullshit for the Dallas Cowboys and also EA giving this guy superpowers to each one of those defensive players. Now, let me tell you something, guys. How the hell did they manage to force me five fumbles? Five. I think one is actually off camera because they didn't want to put it there because it was just total bullshit also. But uh, but yeah, there was like at least five or four fumbles happening this whole game. One of them was absolute bullshit because it was an interception by Andrew Roll. And then all of a sudden, a fucking fumble? Damn, you should be able to see that in the third quarter. Sorry for the spoilers, but yeah, it gotta happen, guys. I gotta explain it right now before anything happens so you guys can be aware of all this bullshitness. And finally, the bullshitness doesn't respond to this one. Principal Kamara intercepted the ball from uh, this Bryant. Look at his moves. Pretty cool, Principal Kamara. Six foot one, by the way. So I'm back in offense, uh, doing more Rashad Jennings stuff because he did a hell of a job his first drive. You know, just stiff arming the shit out of this guy trying to get more yards that was like a 30 plus yards and I was like all right you know let's take it easy call in some spread offense so I started passing the ball you know Ruben Randall opened the right side real quick leaving the middle open he like he leaves like the first five yards open that's what I go quick passing and then I'm gonna make him go under which uh, which means he's gonna go like mostly yellow zones and flat zones so I'm gonna throw some deeps and there he is again pressing the coverage when he presses the coverage you gotta send some streaks going out there with the outside receivers that's the best way to beat him and um, I did with Ruben Randall. I know my both of my receivers are, are actually can actually beat the press. You know, Ruben Randall and Victor Cruz, those guys are beasts. So when they press him, send him into streaks. These guys are beasts in, in beating the press. So I'm back in defense, and yet again, EA giving this guys you know bullshit plays. Look at this shit. Seriously, god damn it. I know most of you guys are gonna be like, "Whoa, this Brian is a superstar." Blah blah. Like, nah, man. Let's be for real. This guy won't even catch those balls, man. I don't even care if you're a Cowboys fan. Shit, shit shouldn't have happened. So there I am with Victor Cruz trying to do a little bit of a salsa dance right there. Salsa the whole fucking Cowboys defense right there. It was just amazing with what I did with Victor Cruz. And I wanted to do more of that. But I ended up passing it to O'Donnell over there, the rookie tight end. He was a hell of a tight end, by the way. He He's a good run blocker, by the way. So uh, back in the offense, third quarter, I received the ball. Trying to run it more. I was like, all right, I'm going to run the ball more. Do a little bit more trick plays. You no know, play action with combined with a run. And that's exactly what I did. Everything was going pretty well. And the score was 21-14. And look at this bullshit. If I were to look into those safeties, guys. If I were to investigate how much hit power does those two safeties have of the Dallas Cowboys. They don't have shit. They're weakling as fucks. It's like two corners playing safety or something. They're not strong. They're the most suckiest safeties you can have on a fucking team, and these guys are causing fumbles. So I was like, what the fuck? I was doing so good in offense, I could have freaking leaked this game 28-14, and that was one out of the four actions that could have ended the game. Alright, so I'm back in this one, I was like, alright, let's concentrate even better, let's do the best, this time we're not even going to fucking run the ball, because I don't want to fumble. I am afraid that Williams or Rashad Jennings going to fumble the ball. So I was like, all right, more passing. Victor Cruz open right there in the, in the short post route. Trying to call in more passing plays. Beckham open down the middle with the slants. And I was like, all right, let's pass it to the tight end because this guy already has Victor Cruz and Beckham covered at some point. And um, he sends max coverage and I accidentally threw it down the middle. And I was like, God damn it. That was my fault. I would admit that was my fault. 
but the score should have been at this point 28-21 and I would have worried. So back on defense, this guy is on the two-yard line and BAM! Andrew will roll with the interception. Amazing! Taking it all the way to a touchdown and no a fucking fumble. I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm going to win this game. This, uh, at this point, I actually gave up. I was like, there's just no point. There's just no fucking way I'm going to win this game. This this EA you know team wannabe is, is going to give him the win. The, the EA is just going to give him the win because of that bullshit. And I ended up intercepting the ball because this guy believed in this Brian like 24-7. I was like, yeah, keep throwing to him. So Prince of Mokamara with the second interception, I was like back in the offense, and I was like, all right, let me just try running one more time. And Rashad Jennings doing a hell of a job. And um, right after this play, I think, yeah, it was this play. Right after this play, I, I think I messed up. Or that defensive coverage got glitched in or something. I don't know. Maybe it was my fault. I don't know. You guys decide. But after that one, I was like, fuck this shit. Fuck the Dallas Cowboys because they're fucking uh, EA's team. They really are. I mean, back in 2009, it was the same shit. They gave 90 speed to Tony Romo because he did a small scramble. So whatever, I ended up losing the game 23-21, whatever. God damn, this is one of the reasons why, uh, you know, head-to-head -head gives me frustrations and shit. I don't know. I could have won the game. Really, I could have won the game 34-21 to uh, 21 or something, but it didn't happen. So anyways, that's it for now, guys. If you guys want to see more ranked games and uh, more Madden, please subscribe for more. And if you guys enjoy this rank session, uh, please leave a like also. So I'll see you guys later, and subscribe for more Madden 15.